Mathematics Success Book 2 Page 117 Mass How much heavier is the flower bag than the watermelon? How will we find? Measurement of weight and mass By weighing, we can find whether the objects are of the same or different weights. We use a beam balance to measure the weight of objects like cereals, vegetables and other grocery items. A balance has two pans. To measure the weight of a given object, we place the object on one pan and on the other pan, the weights are placed till the two pans are on the same level. The weight of a melon is equal to three bananas. And in the other picture, the weight of three strawberries is equal to one apple. Unit of weight. To measure the mass of the object, we use standard units of mass, kilogram and gram. Gram is used to measure the mass of light objects and kilogram is used to measure the mass of heavy objects. One kilogram has thousand grams. Kilo means thousand. One kilo means thousand, one thousand grams. Kilogram is written as kg in short, so 5 kilograms is written as 5 kg, 8 kg is written as 8 kg. Gram is written as g in short, so 10 grams is written as 10 g, 200 grams is written as 200 g. Kilograms Look at these objects. We can measure the mass of these objects in kilograms. Weight of a fish. Weight of more than one apple. We use weighing balance to measure the mass of heavy objects. These are weighing bars that are used for measuring mass in kilogram. 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg. Can we measure the mass of strawberry in kg? Can we? No, it's better to measure the weight of strawberry because it is a small object. So we measure weight of strawberry in grams. The mass of the watermelon, can we measure it in grams? No, it is a heavy object so it is being measured in kilograms. The mass of a sack of rice is 10 kg. If you look at this picture, at one side, a weight of 10 kg is placed and on the other pan, a rice bag weighing 10 kg is placed. This, these two pans are at the same balance. Grams. The mass of the light object is measured in grams. The mass of an orange is measured in grams. The mass of the cherry is measured in grams. Now if you see, the weights placed on the other pan, they are in grams. We use G for gram. Measure and write the weight mass of the given objects. Now this is a weighing machine and it is showing the weight of the objects placed on the pans. Just look at the picture and write how much does this object or how much do these objects weigh. Now look at the first picture. There are apples in the pan and what is the weight of these apples if put together? Yes, this needle is showing 2 kilograms. Very good. Now look at the other picture. Question number 2. Weight of a watermelon? Yes, absolutely correct. It is 7 kg and so on. I think you try doing the rest of the questions on your own. In the same way, you are going to do question number two. Just look at the picture. Yes, the first one that is an apple. An apple weighs 100 grams. A pineapple weighs 300 grams. Now do the rest of the questions on your own. Question number three, fill in the blanks. Weight of the banana. Yes, it is 50 gram. Now how can you tell it is 50 gram? 
because the weight which is put here is of 50 gram and the balance is equal both the pans are balanced equally weight of the ball is yes 200 grams weight of the cup is now you do it on your own addition and subtraction a shopkeeper sold 50 kg of flour and 31 kg of sugar how much quantity of flour and sugar he sold mass of flour is equals to 50 kg mass of sugar is 31 kg if we put them together 0 plus 1 is 1 and 5 plus 3 is 8 so altogether the total mass is 81 kg similarly Zaki bought 60 gram of almonds and 30 grams of peanut which thing he bought more and by how much mass of almonds is 60 grams mass of peanuts is 30 grams now if you have to find the difference between the weight of both the entities you subtract the smaller one from the bigger one so 0 minus 0 is 0 and if we subtract 3 from 6 it is 3 yes 30 grams so he bought more almonds and almonds are 30 grams more than the peanuts coming to question number one solve these 12 grams plus 24 grams now you know the addition you can do it on your own you know the subtraction in the next sum and you are capable enough of doing these questions independently asma bought 20 grams of pears and 50 grams of apples find the total mass of pears and apples she bought when you have to find the total mass now which operation do you pick addition subtraction which one yes you have to add here both the weights 